All right, guys, kk 4 p and back again with you here. Another shaky handheld video. So I got Raspberry Pi OS for PC running on my Dell Chromebook 11. This is a 3120 model. Um, well, let me rephrase that. We're about to find out. Anyway, a little bit more about the Dell Chromebook 11. It's basically a 11-inch Chromebook. Um, I think this one's got 4 gigs of RAM. It's got an Atom, uh, like 2.2, something like that. It's not a very powerful machine, but it's a Chromebook. Um, plenty of ports. Um, 16 gig SSD, non-upgradable RAM. I don't think the SSD is upgradable either, but anyway, it's, um, it's a Chromebook. So... I suppose you could do this on any Chromebook. <clears throat> Don't take my word for it. This is an Intel based Chromebook. Um, so getting this running on it is probably a little bit easier. Didn't happen right off the bat. I've been having a problem with these installers crashing. Uh, and it actually happened on an ex Ubuntu installation on another computer earlier today. So something's going on with it. Uh, it could be my hardware. I've got flash drives that are used and abused over and over and over so anyway um, what I did to get this working was first you've got to get the Mr. Chromebox firmware utility script um, and make sure you get it for the right um, Intel architecture I think this one's Bay Trail Cabby Lake, I can't remember, honestly, I'm kind of in a blur. Anyway, um, and install that, and that gives you the Mr. Chromebox firmware. It replaces this firmware. Um, back in time, start to the beginning, in case you're not <clears throat> familiar with Linux on Chromebooks. The first thing you need to do is get Linux for Chromebooks working. So you need to put it into developer mode, um, which on some... Chromebooks and Chromeboxes, because I actually have a Chromebox over here I'm going to try and get this running on too. Um, you need to remove a right protect screw, and like with the Chromebox, there's a little button you press. This one, there's a combination of buttons you press. Google Linux for Chromebook. Um, go to Mr. Chromebox's site. Look up your model number. Find out how to get Linux working on it. If you can get Linux working on your Chromebook, Chances are you can get Raspberry Pi OS working on it. Um, this didn't work the first time. It's crashed a couple times. Also, for this particular one to get Wi-Fi working, which I have not set up yet, you're going to need a file. It is called... Um, IWL Wi-Fi underscore 7260-17.ucode. Um, it's going to tell you when you're installing it that it's missing some file. I think this one was a Wi-Fi driver. And also during the installation, the mouse pad did not work. So on a graphical install, um, if you choose a graphical install, you need to have a, a USB mouse sitting around. Um, but now the mouse is working. We're going to go ahead and uh, click through that. So yeah, you basically just copy that U-code file to another flash drive, plug it in, um, and get going. So let's go ahead and next through this and see what happens. Uh, touchpad, there we go. For a minute there, I thought I was going to have a touchpad issue like I did with the EPC. But... Um, uh, not, Oops, sorry, should really get a tripod, you know what, we're going to leave all this alone, uh, British, oh no, time zone, yeah, never mind, we need to change the time zone, <clears throat> wow, this really, you really got to press down on it to get it to, hey, look at that, two finger scroll works, that's kind of cool, uh, time zone, well, that's kind of weird. New York. I'm in New York. So, yeah, there may be... This should have just a regular tap touchpad. There may be an issue with that. I'm not sure. Uh, 
we'll go ahead and just hit use English language. Next. Let's set the location. I'm gonna try not to make this another long video. Oh, I gotta change your password. All right. We'll look at something else for a second. Weak password. Oh, hit it. It wouldn't have mattered. Not like you can log into this thing anyway. All right. So now we're looking for Wi-Fi networks. It's a good sign. This has got much better Wi-Fi than that. Uh, um, EPC. Come on. There's Skynet. All right, so I'm just going to put in my come on, Wi-Fi credentials real quick. And it's trying to connect. All right. We're going to skip this update because I don't want to break anything. No, right, your Raspberry Pi is now set up and ready to go. Didn't ever think I'd see that on a Dell device. And for those of you guys that want to flame me for using Dells, I've had many Dells over the years. They're cheap to buy. I actually bought this Chromebook new. Um, one of the reasons is because I had so many Dell power adapters, but the, this is like a built for school type thing. It's really rugged. It's got this like rubbery bumper. It's actually mill standard 810. Um, it's got this light on here. There's, uh, some software you can do. And anyway, uh, I just like Dell's and parts are cheap. They come from corporate environments. So you can get them for dirt cheap. My current laptop, uh, that I use every day is, a. $2,900 laptop I got for $600. So anyway, here we are. And um, Raspberry Pi desktop. Kind of cool. Everything looks good. It's running fast. So let's go ahead and try the interwebs out. Yeah. Chromium, oh, I opened two tabs. I'll be honest with you, I think the experience with a, another mouse would be a lot better. Go to YouTube here. Oh, my stomach is grumbling. It must be time for dinner. Mmm. I don't know, guys. Is this really, really slow? I don't have the best internet either. My, uh, <laughs> because I don't like one of the only two companies that I can get internet from around here, which I could get 300 meg internet, um, I'm stuck with another company where I get 50 megs uh, on DSL. So it's a little bit slow. Um, first boot, uh, obviously, but. Um, there you go. Search for me. So I'm not playing somebody else's video. Hey, look at that. So what do we got here? See if the sound's working. Hmm. No sound. All right. That is an issue. Well, we got to get that working. If 
full screen. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Again, the idea behind this project for me, the, the EPC is great. And I'll probably use it for a couple things, but um, the idea behind this project is really... Oh, well, the ads work. So... It's just kind of a small, quick and light thing to... Man, it really bugs me that the sound's not working. It worked on that little EPC. Why wouldn't it work on this? Of course, this is different hardware. So the other limitation you got here is the Chrome keyboard. Um, the EPC has a Windows keyboard, which is great because the Windows key um, brings up the menu and stuff like that. This doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to be right. Been home for a little while because I'm actually unemployed right now. I got laid off because of supply chain issues. As you can see, my desk, which was clean, is an absolute disaster. All right, let me close this out. Yeah, external mouse is such a much better. Uh, can I do something here? Raspberry Pi configuration. Probably not. Yeah. So we're going to have to do some... Uh, research to get sound working. Let's see if I can open my camera. Dev zero. Hey, look at that. So the webcam works. At least it does under VLC. Uh, can I record here? No. Not like that. I mean, I can, but Anyway, um, as far as I'm going to go with this video, uh, bottom line, does it work? I guess. I mean, if you're just using this for Arduino, which is in fact the intended purpose just to do this, and then, you know, you've got... <laughs> Some other good stuff here. So, as a development platform, works fine. Um, you could also use it as a quick and light office, you know, kind of thing. But there we go. Do you got a shutdown button? So I guess the next test is any of these buttons. Probably not mapped to anything. Oh, that mute on there, that's going to help. Um, yeah, I'm not getting a mute or volume up or down. So that could be part of the issue there. It's just not, the buttons aren't mapped. But anyway, um, let's see if the power button works. Hey, look at that, the power button shuts it down. Or at least puts it to sleep. No, it's uh, it's shut down. Let's boot real. See how fast it boots up. So this is the. Uh, I'm just gonna hit this real quick. This is the Mr. Chromebox. Um, firmware, kind of replaces the BIOS. I mean, it, this machine didn't really have a BIOS before, so. Anyway, um, you would go, and it's got a regular boot menu, so you go in and um, get all of the, I don't think Ubuntu is there anymore. <laughs> I did have ex-Ubuntu working on this machine. Jeez, I didn't check to see if the sound was working on that either, but everything on ex-Ubuntu works just fine. Um, I put ex-Ubuntu on my 
machine over there on the bench. Simply, I had Windows 10 running on this little Dell over here, and it was just slow as heck. That is a, uh, that's like a Celeron, like a 1.8, maybe. I don't know. I thought about putting Raspberry Pi desktop on that. I may. You know, the difference between this and regular... Uh, and then it brings you to Grub there. Uh, the difference between this and regular Linux is... I just like the interface. <laughs> I like the way it looks. And uh, it's really simple. And it's obviously very lightweight if it'll work on an EPC. So... Oh, what's going on here? Boom. So that really didn't take that long to boot, you know. Um, it works. So I'll update you guys on Twitter as far as um, sound. But don't really need it. It'd be nice to have. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And I'll talk to you later.